How good is the dashcam feature for Tesla that they've unveiled only about a year ago, including the sentry mode versus other dash cameras that are come in different varieties, sizes, and prices? There's some differences, and I'm not going to talk about this by myself because Tom Malogny of Inside EVs is here for his weekly segment, plugged in with Tom Malogny, and he's one of those people who not only has Tesla and sentry mode, but could have used it uh a couple of weeks ago when uh, i guess his car got hit and he doesn't have the video of that he'll be here in a second and tell us why uh but i'm also going to talk about the i mean i had i had dash cameras like literally as all my life as 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 when they came out here's one of them i used to use black view now i use um street guardian which i absolutely love much like with tesla my experience with blackview was kind of the same i had three and three of them were kind of crappy but a lot of people uh use these um i think if you're buying a car a dash cam is just as important as a pair of wheels or not really a couple of pairs of wheels and the windshield and and the steering wheel it's it, it's in it compared to the price of the car it's really not that much i think everybody should have it because when you do get in an accident uh, and obviously everybody usually lies and says no i did not run a red light it was you um you have proof right and it's a matter of having points on your record and having to pay money or not so it's it's very important and also if your dash cam runs while your car is away you can also catch people breaking in uh like i have done and i'll i'll, I'll show you that video in a bit but before that of course let's bring in tom and talk to him quick reminder that this video in this channel is sponsored by byton check out their all electric suv called ambite coming to the us and europe very soon so you should probably start thinking about reserving one and by thinking i mean just doing it because it, it takes only about a minute of your time zero dollars zero euros to actually reserve it uh and by the time it's available in your area the line might be quite long right now over 50,000 of us have already done it so go to the description of this video and reserve your python today all right without further ado let me bring in tom uh tom welcome back to the show hey alex thanks for having me again Absolutely. It's it's fun. I know next week we are wise. Well, in fact, when people are going to be watching this video, we're going to be at the Ford unveiling. I know if you didn't get your gift yet, but I got mine. It's great to see that they're naming their car Mustang uh, Mach-E, which means that they're serious. But right now, as people are watching, we're going to talk about a little problem that you had the other day. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> so as I've mentioned here uh, previously, that one of the things that I do full time is I work with Plug in America on a program called Plug Star, where we help train dealers how to better sell electric cars. So as part of that job, I have to frequently travel to a bunch of dealers and visit them, meet with the general managers, the sales associates. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago, I was actually doing that one day and I visited uh, five or six dealers that day. When I got home, I pulled in my garage and I plugged in my Model 3. And as I walked around it, I noticed on the passenger side, there was a nice good scratch and a small dent on the rear wheel well and the uh, bumper skin that comes around from the back to the side behind the rear wheel was cracked and peeled back a little bit. So evidently during the day, somebody backed into me or scraped my car and caused the damage. Uh, I didn't realize it. I guess as I'd been getting in and out of my car, I was just entering and exiting from the driver's side. So I, I didn't see this until I got home at that point. I don't know where it happened. So I, I couldn't go back to one of the dealers and, you know, all the dealerships and say, could you all roll your, 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 your video? It just isn't worth it. Um, and unfortunately, <laughs> I know what you're going to say, roll the, the, the sentry cam video. I was a bad boy and my sentry cam uh, storage filled up a day or two before. And when that happens, it stops recording. You've got to pull the, the, the USB stick out of your car, plug it to your computer, clear the files, and then it will record again. I didn't do it. I knew it was, it stopped recording a day or so earlier and I paid the price because I would have had it all on video. Now let's, let's, you know, pause for a second. Now there are two types of camera footage modes here. One is Tesla cam and another one is sentry mode. 
why don't you tell us the difference before we dive in what really happened there and what people can do to prevent it? Exactly. So it, the regular Tesla cam records as you're moving. It, it shows the, uh, the, 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 ca the exterior cameras on the vehicle side view to front view of what's happening. So if you were to have an accident or witness something while you were driving, that, was, that would be recorded. That will overwrite. So it only stores a certain amount of those events as you're driving and it overwrites. So that can continue to record. Tesla uh, sentry mode was different. In sentry mode, it, it didn't re overwrite those recordings. So once your memory filled up, it just stopped working. However, just yesterday, yesterday or the day before, I got the new Tesla V10 software update. And now sentry mode writes over the old files. So if I could have gotten this V10 update a couple weeks ago, I would have had it on everything recorded. But since it wasn't available then and my, my memory stick was full, it, I don't have it. So good, the good news is Tesla has corrected this, if you want to call it issue or problem or inconvenience, and now you don't have to pull your memory stick out and, and, and clear the old files. Both Tesla cam while you're moving and sentry mode while you're parked will just continue to overwrite the incidences so you don't have to clear anything. All right. And, and, and so just, just for the record, also the, the dash cams that people install, like myself, install in their cars, they overwrite stuff all the time, depending on how big is uh, the actual memory stick. You know, yeah. usually, especially having two cameras, I have front and back, uh, it records about a half a day to a day worth of videos, depending again on how uh, big your memory stick is. Now, <laughs> you know, and we also should mention that, um, uh, Anybody who can get into a car with a dash cam can steal the actual storage, uh, uh, the little uh, the little storage stick. Except for mm -hmm. in Tesla, it is extremely easy and visible, and it just basically goes into the USB drive. Where in these cameras, you a lot of times you have to undo so many things. It's just not worth spending the time because each thief usually prefers to spend about 60 seconds in and out and disconnecting this will take probably 30 to 40 seconds. Um, there are different types of cameras. So, but in Tesla, it's very, very easy. Not only that, <laughs> when you, you have to get the right stick and then you have to create directories. I mean, it is a very not user-friendly uh, experience uh, overall. Would you agree with that? Well, th this V10 update is making it more user-friendly. Uh, there's there's some other features they could add, like instant playback. I'd love if you could immediately play back a, an incident that it recorded on the big, you know, center display screen. That would be a, a, a great option to have. Currently, you can't do that. You have to pull the stick out, plug into your computer, or pull it out, get an adapter for your cell phone, plug it into your cell phone, and you can play it back that way. I think it would be, you know, a great... Um, you know, new feature if Tesla would make it so that you can simply just immediately play back your recording on the center disgrace display screen. I mean, that'd be fantastic if you had an accident or you you witnessed something and you wanted to show the police. So uh, maybe they'll 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 be working on that. I think that'd be great. But um, in that regard, the those the 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 dash cams, the aftermarket ones, like what you're using. That they're a little bit more user friendly like that. You can immediately play it back on the on on those those um, cameras that have a display screen. Yeah, no, it's actually actually this is the one that I, that's the thing I did not like about the um, uh, the black view because you had to pair up your phone and look at. It. So the one that I have right now and it's like two hundred bucks. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, it's Street Guardian. Uh, it's dual cam, but also as you can see, there's a screen here on it. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can just not only view it right away, but you can also see how you can position your camera, if it's on, if the lighting is correct and all that stuff. Um, so it's definitely, I think, advantage to this type of cams. But there's, um, there's one more thing that I think is also very important, which is audio. Uh, audio is not available in Teslas, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. 
And, and actually, a lot of times it's very important because, you know, let's say if you're being pulled over by a police officer, you want to make sure that conversation is recorded uh, or you're arguing with your girlfriend or wife. You want to make sure to play it back, you know, when she <laughs> said you never said, you know, like there's a lot of good uses there. Um, uh, do you think this that this feature is something that definitely gives advantage to the aftermarket uh, add on uh, dash cameras? Yeah, I, I, I think that that's great that it records audio. I just think it's really funny that you. The example you gave is when you're, if you're arguing with your wife. Or hey, your we wife. all have our priorities, okay? And I like yes. having evidence <laughs> when I'm arguing with my, you know, imaginary girlfriend at this point, well, since I don't I, have I one right now. I can tell you right now, I do not have to worry about that. My wife, Meredith, with, with, with who? Wait, wait. Uh-oh, some... Someone pulled the plug, Tom, on your internet connection as soon as you as soon as you start talking about your wife. Where did you go, man? Where did you go? Come back. Oh, Am I what? back? There you're back. You're back. As soon as you start talking about your wife, uh, somebody pulled the plug. What's going on? Well, go what ahead. I was saying is I don't have to worry about that. We don't have any heated arguments that I need to record or anything like that. Okay. But my wife's an angel. <laughs> All right, excellent. Well, that is being recorded, and that's most important, really. <laughs> okay, yeah. now, so you know, you know, it's it's going to be pretty much impossible for Tesla to improve uh, the uh, audio, obviously, because they don't have mics. And mm -hmm. if they do, it would be very concerned. But maybe moving forward, they'll be able to build them in on the inside and outside, uh, specifically for this feature. But um, you know, do you see uh, do you see this being an important feature and something that every car should have, especially you know most cars now uh, will be having these uh, uh, self driving features and cameras. Yeah, a hundred percent. I would. I, I I absolutely would want everything being recorded in, in the cars that I drive from now on. And the technology is there. It's so inexpensive to do it. I'm, I'm surprised that none of the other manufacturers uh, have what Tesla has right now integrated in the way they do. I'm sure they're going to because they see how people are so interested in this and how they like it. I mean, you know, over at Inside EVs, we, <laughs> I'm getting a little tired of it, to be honest with you, but people like to, 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 to watch it. We're posting so many of these videos that people are sending us in on you know besides the damage it always it started out with the tesla the um sentry mode with the videos of people damaging tesla's kingdom and whatnot everybody wanted to see those but now it's like people are posting videos of accidents that happened while their tesla was parked or just crazy things happen in a parking lot i think there was a a, a model three recorded like a street fight <laughs> recently and so everybody's posting these videos and i have to tell you like they're wildly popular when we post them on inside EVs. Like people just love to watch this. I guess it's like the voyeurism part of it, but they just love to see what's going on on other people's recordings. So, well, I'm uh, glad you mentioned you know, that because we're just about to do just that because with a purpose, with a purpose, I just wanted to show a few videos that I have. And just to make sure that people understand that not all the time it works perfectly and you will always have this recording so so let me show you one um that i had uh, just the other day in sacramento as you can see here you can clearly see that the gr the light is green and guess guess which car <laughs> of course it's a prius that's not paying attention and and this way you know that the green light was there and th th therefore we know whose fault it is now luckily everybody was okay and the guy who was at fault and prius admitted uh, his fault but that's not always the case i've i've stopped a few times when when people were uh people were actually uh, lying uh, now let me let me show you another one which is the um probably the most popular one and this is where this lady actually got caught she had to turn herself in as she can as you can see she's uh scratching this uh uh, this uh, this Tesla so she got caught but that doesn't always happen because you have to see their face and everything but let me show yeah. you my own dash cam footage from um, and I, no don't get me wrong I was stupid it was Oakland it was uh, it, it was dark and I parked in a dark corner so as you can see this car coming in there are no lights I actually had other Tesla owners in other areas of the Bay Area saying exactly same car that they saw on their dash cam did the same thing with no with the dealer license plates so as you can see uh they're coming in in the hoodie i can't see anything at all um they ended up breaking into my car and um uh, and, and taking nothing including like the cell phone that i had and the dash cam itself but as you can see there's not so there you go this person now goes back there, there's there's so 
my point is that it's not always that you just because you have it on camera doesn't mean that you'll be able to see the license plate or the person's face and even if you do have a person's face it doesn't always mean that you will end up catching them because like Oakland PD goes like, yeah, what else is new? We, we, we see it all the time. So just want a quick warning there. Um, have you ever had to uh, use a dash cam and be able to, um, uh, to, to catch someone or this is your first unfortunate accident? Yeah, luckily, no, I, I haven't, I haven't had needed it for anything like that. But one of the things you're talking about, you know, you don't always get the, 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 the person. And that's one of the advantages now that Tesla system has. It has the cameras all around the car. And that's not the case with the regular dash cams where you maybe have a front and rear viewing camera. So that, that you know, the fact that the Tesla Sentry mode has got cameras on the front, you know, the sides, rear, it, you know, it, it, it adds to the chances that you're going to be able to uh, get the person whatever they've done wrong. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. The side cameras is is really nice. Uh, just like I said, a lot of uh, dash cams are just front only. I always had front and back, but the sides are not really covered uh, at any time. So um, I guess this is up to the people to figure it out. You know, if they have a Tesla, all they have to do is to put the memory stick, uh, something very simple like this um, in there. I do. Uh, you have to create a directory and stuff like that, but you got to figure out, make sure it's not full, all that stuff. Or you can go aftermarket. And by the way, you can do both. There's not nobody who says that you cannot do both. These cameras also, they connect to your battery. You can um, run them while the car is, you know, idle. I mean, while you're gone. And they also kind of a security cameras for your garage and uh, for your driveway. Like I actually realized that uh, the, the thing that was triggering my motion sensor in my garage was a rat and not a uh, you know burglar because my dash cam uh, told me that so um they can climb very high by the way um anyway listen um i'm sorry it happened um i i hope you uh, get your insurance to cover for it um but from now on you've learned your lesson right <laughs> well now i, I don't it, yeah i learned my lesson but <laughs> luckily i don't i don't have to worry about it anymore because i got the v10 up software update and now it, it's going to write over. So, uh, you know, I just let, missed out by maybe three weeks. If, 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 if uh, Tesla would have sent out that, uh, that update a couple weeks earlier, damn you, Elon, <laughs> I would have um, had it all recorded. Who knows if I would have caught the person or not. Look, uh, my insurance is covering it. Yeah, I have got, I've got a $500 deductible. The, it's costing like thirty two hundred dollars for everything, so I I gotta I got I I gotta put the five hundred dollars out of pocket, which I'm not happy about. But uh, you know I can't you can't sweat that stuff. Stuff like that happens in life, and uh, you know I'll get it fixed. But one of the things I do want to say, and when I first got my Model Three, I remember thinking, just please don't have an accident, don't need body work because I've been reading all of these like nightmare stories about Tesla and how long it takes body shops to get the parts. You know, there were a couple of automotive news outlets that their press cars got hit and they took months to get their parts and it was like a nightmare. So I was saying, oh, geez, this is, you know, maybe I'll get it fixed by Christmas. And uh, so I took it to the body shop to, uh, two and a half weeks ago and with, within 13 days, all of the parts were shipped to the body shop. Uh, and it needed something like 17 or 18 different parts. I saw the parts list. Um, so, hey, that, that, that's not bad. I mean, that's pr pretty darn good, actually. And I talked to the body shop. It's, they're a Tesla certified body shop. They're the only one in my area. I mean, I, I, there's another one about 45 minutes to an hour away. But um, so they do all the Teslas in right around the area where I live. And he's done quite a few. And I was talking to the owner and he said, look, it was terrible when the Model 3 launched. It, it took forever to get a, a bolt. And he said, now it's getting better and better and better. And now it's they're almost to the point where it doesn't take any longer to get Tesla parts than it does for the other manufacturers. So kudos to Tesla. Uh, I think they're doing better with that. Uh, they, they did great with my car. And um, hopefully they're on that track and that those, those part delays are a thing of the past. Yeah, so let me go back. I actually, I have comments about both things that you said. First of all, for those people who have $500 deductible in their insurance, 
uh, that's how much the most expensive dash cam, including installation costs. So you might want to invest uh, even if you don't have a Tesla or if you do have a Tesla, you can still get the aftermarket as well. Now, what you're saying about, you know, 13 days getting parts now, we should tell people and they probably know also that is still pretty a long time to get the parts, but it is faster than Tesla used to do it. There's a Bloomberg, Bloomberg survey of 5,000 Model 3 owners that have um, indicated one of the charts that like I believe only 10% of the time where your Tesla is in the shop, they're actually being worked on. The 90% of the time it's actually waiting for parts. So um, it's great that they're improving and Elon did admit that they had no clue how to do parts distribution in the beginning of this year, uh, but it's, it, it's great. So your car is perfectly fine now, not a single scratch on it again? Well, the, I, I literally dropped it off the body shop yesterday. Um, so no, it hasn't been fixed yet, but as you know, I'm flying out to California tomorrow to, to do the Ford Mach-E event with you. And, and then direct, right after that, I'm actually heading to China with Xping Motors. So I'm going to be gone for 10, 12 days. And uh, I figured this was a perfect time to leave, take the car there, but not if they don't have the parts. And uh, the shop just called me up, uh, said, look, we got, we got them in. It was really quick. And uh, so I was able to drop it off. And hopefully when I come back, uh, I'm going to have a nice uh, new looking Model 3 with no scratches and crack bumpers. And we're going to have a great new video about your experience about it. So everybody wins, Tom. It's totally worth $500 that you spend, I think. But um, hey, listen, um, I appreciate you sharing this experience because I wanted to do this video for a while. And the fact that you kind of had a personal experience. And as you can see, I had a few uh, uh, definitely kind of hit home for both of us. Um, hopefully this helps to people who, uh, who are watching. But um, before we go and get on a plane so we can meet uh, at, in, in Los Angeles. So when people are watching and enjoying this video, we will be hanging out and taping videos in person. Um, tell, uh, tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, where can they can uh, read their articles and follow you and all of your awesome uh, tweets that you, uh, that you tweet out. Uh, go ahead. So swing over to InsideEVs.com and check out uh, my latest articles. And uh, follow me on Twitter. It's at Tomalog. That's absolute must. I uh, always enjoy your articles, and a lot of times you write articles about the topics that we talk uh, uh, about here. Um, so, all right, man, listen, uh, let's get packing. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Los Angeles for all of the exciting stuff. I'm sure we'll, we'll have a few cool videos uh, that we can show our audience in the coming few weeks. Um, so, uh, safe travels, and I will see you soon. See you then. All right, guys. Well, another good video. I really did mean to do this video for a while. I'm so happy that actually uh, when we're talking to, you know, with, with Tom last night about, you know, what we can do the video about. And and he he mentioned this and I was like, boom, that's that's what we're going to do a video about, because now we both have uh, experiences uh, with it. And and I, if anything, I hope it's, it helps to you guys. It helps uh, maybe. Uh, you know, getting another another uh, dash cam as a backup if you have a Tesla. If you don't have a Tesla, again, I think it's a must have. Um, I recommend to stay away from the uh, Blackview. You know, I had really crappy experiences, but um, I do recommend the Street Guardian. It took like three hundred dollars, including installation. I, I bought it on Amazon. You can go and buy it. It's I think it's in the description of my video as well. Uh, make sure that you get the appropriate. Um, uh, memory stick. A lot of times, don't forget, writing stuff over and over and over uh, can really wear them out. Um, so make sure that you get the one that the, the manufacturer recommends. So no matter which one you get, it it, it should definitely be that one. Um, all right, by the way, let me remind you that a lot of these videos that you're seeing are go live on Patreon first. So my Patreons get to uh, all of this uh, good news uh, before anybody else and uh, it gets to be posted on YouTube the next day. And uh, not only you get to the first access to the information, I get to eat because that's how I make uh, my money to put the food on my table and pay my rent. So I appreciate it. If you want to join, go to patreon.com slash e electric That link is also in the description of this video. And you know what else is in the description of this video? The link to our VIP list. You can sign up and get a bonus story every Saturday. And that's absolutely free, much like the Biden reservation. Uh, so check that out, uh, eforlecture.com slash VIP. Again, that link is in the description of this video. I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know if you have a dash cam already, if you had some good, bad experiences, whether it was a Tesla or, or one of the other ones. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, I will see you guys soon. And remember to stay charged. Oh, <laughs>